Hi friends. In this video, we shall discuss about Pyriformis syndrome. Pyriformis syndrome is a very common entity which we all miss in daily OPD. The patient presents with radiating pain towards lower limb. The same clinical presentation as of sciatica, but there won't be sciatica. It is the typical feature in Pyriformis and the presenting complaint of patient is radiating pain towards lower limb. There may be a chance of history of fall on squatting position previously and there won't be any tenderness over lumbar spine. This is the typical feature. Maybe the patient don't get result in conservative line of management normally when we miss the diagnosis. It's important. When we miss the diagnosis, the diagnosis is very specific. With clinical examination, it's very easily possible. Please note that there won't be any disc prolapse. Uh, there won't be any neural foraminal stenosis. That means whenever the occlusion of sciatic nerve occurs at the uh, range of pyriformis muscle. Actually, pyriformis muscle is a horizontal muscle. The inflammation to the pyriformis muscle is causing occlusion to the sciatic nerve, which is passing near to the uh, pyriformis muscle and uh, which we shall able to diagnose it clinically very easily. And coming to pyriformis uh, syndrome, uh, please note the clinical anatomy. Uh, the pyriformis is connecting horizontally and very near to pyriformis, the sciatic nerve is passing. Whenever there is a previous injury, there may be a chance to inflammation of uh, pyriformis muscle and also continuous sitting people are also affected with this particular pyriformis syndrome. And coming to the clinical examination of pyriformis syndrome, flexion, adduction and inner rotation, just opposite to fibers flexion, abduction, and external rotation, which we are doing in sacroiliitis. The fibers is also called as Patrick test or figure of four test. And this is just opposite to that flexion of hip adduction and internal rotation, which gives stretch to the pyriformis muscle. And also another typical specific examination test is pyriformis stretch test. This one is flexion, adduction and internal rotation. And this one is flexion, abduction and external rotation which we are doing in sacroiliitis or sacroiliac dysfunction. Here please note flexion of hip up to 90 degree, adduction and then internal rotation of hip. In this particular maneuver, patient felt pain over the pyriformis muscle. And this one is pyriformis stretch in which patients one hip is flexed and keep the foot over the quadriceps of that flexed hip and then ask the patient to flex the hip again. In this particular clinical examination test, patient's left hip is flexed. Then patient's right foot is kept over the left quadriceps and using the hand, patient is further flexing the left hip in which we are checking the right pyriformis. I repeat, for checking the right pyriformis, flex the left hip and place the right foot over the left quadriceps and ask the patient to flex the hip further further with using the hand. In this particular pyriformis stretch test, this right pyriformis muscle is checked. This particular test is positive. And in pyriformis syndrome, the most important thing regarding pyriformis syndrome is this particular exercise itself. It's all called as modified PGN test. Actually, this is pyriformis stretch itself without causing pain. Ask the patient to do this pyriformis stretch and hold it for a while for five seconds and repeat it for 10 times. This particular exercise is very effective in pyriformis syndrome. And second thing, another exercise we, which we shall incorporate in this particular condition is gluteal set in which gluteal set ask the patient to be in prone position and then ask the patient to hold the buttocks for a period of five seconds and then repeat it for 10. In prone position, ask the patient to hold or tie the buttocks and hold it for five seconds, then repeat it for 10 times. This exercise is also effective. The exercise like Shalabhasana shall be incorporated in Pyriformis syndrome. And the diagnosis, diagnosis is very important in pyriformis syndrome. We don't miss it and treat it uh, like sciatica or uh, we don't miss the diagnosis. That's important thing in pyriformis syndrome. For diagnosis, we shall use fair flexion, adduction and inner rotation. And also another clinical examination called pyriformis stretch, which is a good exercise for 
pyriformis syndrome and in, in this condition there may be a chance of history of previous fall on squatting position or sitting position it won't be in all cases but there may be more in most probable cases there may be a chance of history of fall and this particular rehabilitation one is pyriformis stretch itself another one is gluteal set in which in prone position ask the patient to tie the buttocks and hold it for a while and shalabhasana is also very effective in pyriformis syndrome Thank you.